In this video, we're going to look at Pro Tools 9 running in the new Windows 8 Developers Preview that was released a couple weeks ago by Microsoft. So this is Desktop View, which is what we're all familiar with with Windows, and our toolbar is normal. But when you start Windows 8, you'll come to this new Metro-style start screen. And here's where you can launch programs. You see when you install programs, they show up here in your new start menu. You also notice these tiles are live updated, which is pretty cool. See our stocks here. You can even add a stock. You can right click and add a stock. Since we're looking at Pro Tools, we'll add uh, Avid on here. We can see how Avid stock doing, which is pretty cool. We'll go back to our start menu. If you have a Twitter account, you could of course link that here, and this and this tile would update. Your news tile here will update. You have a weather tile that will update. And to get to the desktop that we all know, you can just click there and go to your desktop. So when Windows 8 Developer Preview was released last week, I thought I'd test it out with Pro Tools 9, see if it installed. And the installation actually went very easily. As you probably know, Pro Tools 9 now runs with an iLock key. And the iLock driver installed just fine. But one thing you'll notice if you come here to the removable devices, You'll see the iLock key is inserted, but it looks like it's not active because there's no remove. Same for the 11 rack, which is the interface I have connected. It looks like it may not be working. We can come here to our control panel, go down to more settings, which opens our classic style control panel. We can look in device manager. You can see our dongles, our iLock. You can see it has a little question mark but it is working fine. We go to properties, this device is working properly. We can see our 11 rack driver is installed and working properly as well. Another thing I've already done is set up Pro Tools to make sure it defaults to run as administrator which means you don't have to right click and choose run as administrator. Make sure you always set up Pro Tools to run as administrator if you're using Vista, Windows 7, or the new Windows 8 developer preview. You can see that here. We go to Properties, Advanced, and I have this icon itself set to run as administrator. And I also go to Compatibility and Privilege Level and run this program as an administrator. We can also see that Pro Tools itself is set up to run as administrator. Open the file location. We can see that right here. This is the actual application, Properties, Compatibility, and it's checked. So we can launch Pro Tools here by right clicking and choose Run as Administrator. We can double click as normal from our desktop. We can also go to our Metro style start menu and launch it from here by single clicking. Another thing you could right click this Pro Tools, go down here to Advance and choose Run as Administrator as well. Choose Run, pin it to Taskbar, all that good stuff. We'll just single click it here. That drops us back to the desktop since Pro Tools will be a desktop application and it will launch Pro Tools. Launching Pro Tools 9 on the Windows 8 Developers Preview does take a bit more time than in Windows 7. So here we can see Pro Tools 9.0.5 is loading. And there it is. It's loaded up. I already have a session created, so we'll just click OK. And our session is launched. Now, since I have the 11 rack connected, it's launching the 11 rack control window. And there we go. Now I have two monitors, and you're only actually seeing one here but here's the 11 rack control window that was loaded. We can go here to a track, record enable. We already have a patch loaded here. And we could record. You 
see that works just fine. We can go back and we can play back. So that's working all right in Windows 8 with Pro Tools 9.0.5. I'll move this out of the way. Then I'll launch a plug in here. We got Mini Grand. And I have Axiom 61 connected via USB port. And we can see that's working. So that's working all right. So here's our mix window. I also have a HUI control board connected. And I can move the faders here. And that's working fine as well here in Windows 8 Developers Preview uh, with Pro Tools 9.0.5. So in my limited testing time, it's relatively stable. It's not ready for a professional environment by any means, which you wouldn't expect anyway in a pre-beta release. But so far in testing, it's done pretty good. We can check here our uh, task manager. See how that works. See the new interface for the task manager. come back here to processes and we can see exactly what Pro Tools is using here. Very cool. Of course at any time you can go back to your Metro style menu by either clicking down here or you can use your Windows key. And then you can click your desktop and go back to Pro Tools or you can click the Pro Tools icon and go back to Pro Tools. So it's really cool. So that's it for this video. That's Pro Tools 9.0.5 running and the new Windows 8 developers preview.